Hi, today I'll be showing you how to transform this original photo into something like this, which looks, in my opinion anyway, better. I'll show you how to do it quickly and free using Windows 10 Photo Editor. Let's do that right now. Okay, so we have a wonderful picture of a chipmunk here climbing onto the bird feeder. It's trying to grab food from it. But you can see this picture is very sharp, very nice. It's a bright day. So let me show you the setting. Okay, let me just uh, show you what camera I use. So I use Sony A5000. Uh, the setting is as follows. It's ISO 1000. The uh, speed is 180th of a second. Aperture is 5.6 and zoom in at 55 mils. So using a kit lens, by the way, you'll be you know surprised that sometimes just using a kit lens is enough, and that's what this picture is illustrating. I like this picture a lot. Um, it's because of the chipmunk, right? The tension is on this uh, creature here. Uh, love the stripe at the back. Very beautiful p uh, creature. Um, so this is a wonderful picture already. This is the original picture. But I want to emphasize on the chipmunk. So what I want to do is be able to zoom in, maybe edit a little bit. So this is where I'm going to show you how to do it quickly. So using Window 10 free photo editor. So once you open up a photo, this is what shows up. And what you want to do is go to the uh, menu here called Edit and Create. So you want to click on that. And under that menu, there is Edit. So you click on that. And there we go, you have the image popped up with uh, different adjustments that you can do. You can uh, crop and rotate, you can fil use filters, and then you can do adjustment. Now let me show you quickly. Uh, first thing I do is cropped in, okay? Because I want to focus on the chipmunk. And so I'm just going to crop in like that. And I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do next. Now the next step, uh, you have two options. You can use filter adjustments. If you want a quick fixer upper, you want to just do it quickly and don't have to think too much about it, you can use filter and there you can see you have um, uh, 15 different type of filters and they're quite nice. Um, especially this one here, if you click on that, uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, filter. Gives this um, kind of, uh, I guess, like the 70s style kind of look with uh, vignetting. Uh, it's if uh, if you no know, if I was pressing for time maybe I'll do that or maybe I'll use this one as well but I, I don't like this one because it's too green or if I want a little bit of um, black and white there we go vanilla effects there they call it a vanilla filter or if I want uh, denim there we go a little bit of uh, color is added to it but again it looks kind of black and white with a little bit of uh, color on the um, the fur uh, of this chipmunk. So that's nice too. So if you, you want to do that, you can. The only, no, no, the problem with the uh, Photoshop um, editor from Microsoft 10 is that you can't really undo individually. You have to either undo all or you can't do it at all. So let me go back and undo this, the whole thing. There we go. We'll start again and we have to crop in again. Okay. Let me show you quickly. There we go. And bring in. Okay. Like I said, it's very fast. That's one thing I like about this. Um, there we go. And we're done. And then what we want to do, okay, instead of filters, we're going to do adjustment. This is where I want to have some control over this uh, photo editing. So here you have different choices. In adjustment, you have light option, you have color, you have clarity, and you have vignette. Those are only four options, and that's all you need. For example, the light, if you want it um, to show more uh, the, the, the different color dynamics, you just pull in that light and you can see more, if you, if you notice, more of the fur and the fine um, edges that's shown here. Now if I go the other way, okay, you can see um, some of the uh, fur, the hair itself may not show up, whereas if I bring it a little bit more light, I can actually see more of it, okay? So again, it depends. If the picture is really dark, let's say you're taking in the uh, in the evenings and the background 
uh, and the foreground is uh, kind of like blur together and you can't see both and you want to separate them you want to want to bring up the lighting okay so you want to go to the right side and there we go and that's for this image for this squirrel I think I'll just set it right about here in fact I don't need to change it you can see if I uh, maybe at maybe like 19 is good you know something like even 9 or 10 that's good enough okay next thing is clarity you want to bring more sharpness contrast again you can make it more soft you can do that way you can pull to the left side or you can give it more contrasty um, but you know for this squirrel I want to give it more um, kind of like dreamlike look so I'm gonna give it more soft and then you can see more of the color showing up there's like a smooth trend of the color in the clarity here so moving to the left side vignetting since I zoom in, I want to give a bit of vignetting in this image. You can see here the emphasis is on the squirrel and that looks really good. Last thing I want to do is add uh, more color or less color again, depending on the image. So this one, if I pull it to the right, there's more color. The problem with pulling it to the right, uh, notice the background start to get more green, which is not very good. So I don't want to do that. I want, again, to emphasize on the chipmunk. So somewhere about here, is great so this is where I'm gonna leave this image and I'm happy with it so if you use the filter maybe the filter do a better job but um, some sometime you might have to adjust accordingly right filter is a quick way to fix your photo um, give it a artistic style but you know if you want some um, uh, control over it just use adjustments as you can see this actually took me less than two minutes to fix. Now, the reason it was longer is because I'm explaining what I'm doing. Normally, I can go through an image less than uh, two minutes. In a minute, I could you know, crop in and then adjust quickly and bam, right? Using my eyes, I'm able to get a very nice uh, edit uh, photo. Now, let me show you the rest. So you can see, it shouldn't take you more than a minute or two to edit a photo, uh, especially you know if you already know how you want to set it up, right? So let me show you the rest of the image uh, that I did. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have this image, and this is before, after. Okay, big difference, right? Again, it depends on your taste of uh, you know images. Um, some people prefer this um, wide angle shot. You don't have to zoom in or anything like that. Uh, you know, this is nice, right? But if you want to zoom in and have a portrait shot of uh, a chipmunk, there it is. This is a nice shot. Very nice. Here's another picture. This is the original picture of this spider here. Again, you can see the creamy background blur. Very nice. Okay. Again, uh, this is a nice picture as well, but I really want to emphasize on this uh, insect creature, this spider. And uh, uh, I want to show, you know, all the color in its abdomen here and as well as the hair on the leg. So I need to zoom in and maybe bring out the light uh, and the color. Okay, let me show you. This is before and then afterwards. There it is. This is definitely a nice, well, to me, in my opinion, anyway, looks more nicer. Uh, as you can see, the abdomen, wow, look at that. You can actually see the brown light brown, dark brown, and even purple, white color, and then even hairs along its abdomen. And then you can see the eyes, many eyes, right here. And if you look at the uh, leg, you can actually see furs. Yes, there it is, right over here. Okay, beautiful. And then uh, notice how it's cropped in. You can see the spy really well. Um, even it's marking on its back here. Um, but the blurry image is even more creamier because it's more lighter now okay very nice so this picture here okay this is the original picture of my son and my two nephews this is uh, around uh, nine in, close to nine o'clock and you can see uh, it's getting really dark they're uh, doing campfire here and roasting marshmallows but you can see the background and then uh, if you look at the shoulder and the hair is pretty much blurry and with the background, can't see much. Then what I did with did a uh, you know uh, quick editing, zoom in as you can see here, and then I bring in um, 
the highlights, right? Basically bring uh, more lights into this image. Now your camera is very important as well. If you have an APS-C camera full frame, um, you are able, you should be able to anyway, bring back uh, some of the background that was dark previously, right? So bring more light and you can see here, you see the background uh, much better and then you can see the hair um, and the shoulder, right? And this image is very nice compared to, let's say, the original. You see that? Big difference. Took me only less than a minute to do this. Now, notice that when I zoom in and I frame it, it's really nice. The only issue you uh, you might see here is that there's a bit of noise and color noise. But I would live with this image rather than having this image. Much, much better. Because the emphasis is on these three boys. And, you know, the way they stand and everything looks, I think, pretty cool. And they can tell you they're pretty cool, <laughs> right? All right. So look at this image here. Um, here is uh, my sister's dog, Oki. And you can see the background here. This is actually afterwards. Uh, the original image is this one here. Now, I don't even can tell the difference. I zoom in a little bit. Okay, here's the original. And then I zoom in a bit. And uh, I didn't edit too much. I bring a bit of a light uh, to the background and um, I zoom in a bit more. And then the emphasis is actually this chair here, okay? So um, to focus the center on this chair and maybe this, uh, this tree stump here. But again, very nice. Show you the, you know, the, um, the um, life of a, um, you know, countryside, you know, the good living uh, lifestyle when you're retired, that kind of stuff, right? This shows uh, really well. Showing the river, the tree, the chairs, the dog, everything is just good and, and dandy. Very beautiful. Relaxing, I would say. Yeah? Okay. There is Oki again. Notice uh, here, uh, if you look at the image, um, very nice. This is uh, edit after, right? So this is after, and let's look at before. Before was like this. Now, can you tell the difference? Okay. Now, notice that the original image, a lot of contrast. You can't even see the nostril in her nose. And then there's a lot of these uh, distractions. You see this here, all these. Um, there's a, a, a plant here in the background and all these other stuff, which I don't think looks that nice. So what I did was I want to focus on Oki the dog and there we go. Notice now she looks very soft. So I pull the um, clarity to the left side and emphasize on her fur. Very fluffy and she looks more younger looking if you compare it to this one here. See that? She looked like, in this case, she looked kind of old. I think it's because of her hair and her nose and around her mouth here. And it's the big contrast there, darker. Here you can see lighter, you know, you can see her nose. It's very soft. It looks beautiful in it for a dog. Yeah, beautiful dog. So, and again, you can see I zoom in. So less distraction on the background and more focus on uh, the dog here. Okay, here's another picture of Oki. Now notice this is before. Again, this is after. What's the difference? Well, I didn't do much of the editing other than cropped in. Sometimes that's what it takes, right? All you need to do it's just cropped in your photo and voila, that's all you need to do and it's done. So it should take you less than 10 seconds to do that. Now here's a picture of, you know, the uh, the river, the tree. This is again, bef this is after. Now before, does it look like? This is what it looks like. Notice um, before the original picture, um, if you go uh, look across the river, it's very dark. So the tree over here, the, sh the shadow here, cannot even see the tree. Uh, that's be, uh, beneath that uh, riverbed here, over here, okay, on the other side. And here you can't even see, you know, the the leaf. It's all dark and contrasty. So what I did was I brought back some light and zoom in, and there we go. We brought up more uh, light and bring in more clarity. And you can actually now see the light uh, shining through the leaves. And you can see the sun penetrating through those leaves, and there is a casting of light across the tree beautiful and then and if you look at the other side of the river you can actually see the branches now and the other end of the river where there's actually um, there's a horizontal line here right over here 
and there you may if you look carefully there you can even see um, um, little plants along the river here very nice okay big difference right let's look at the difference again this is after and before before after okay again this is a nice image very dreamy now this is the last picture I want to show you. This is uh, already, I think it, the original picture I think is pi picturistic, beautiful. My son staring out into the sun setting and my brother is uh, canoeing right there. And very nice picture showing you, you know, the uh, peacefulness of um, uh, life, right? When you're having fun in the wilderness, this is what it looks like. Now, so I want to emphasize more on this uh, here. This is my son here. Uh, I want to show more of this, uh, I guess, like this um, feeling of uh, infinite uh, forever kind of um, feeling. Okay, so what I did was, there we go, I zoom in, and that's what it looks like. Now notice the difference. This is after and then before. Both are very nice. It depends again what kind of uh, effect you want to give your audience. And this one shows me the um, um, uh, endless dreamy uh, view of life. Oh, so again, you can see my son staring into uh, the river with my brother boating, uh, canoeing. The sun coming down um, looks... I mean, this picture looks like it's in the 70s, but it looks also that uh, it have a feeling that this image can last forever. That's what it gives me that feeling. It's just to have that um, dreamlike and um, a feeling that life uh, in this setting anyway never ends. It's just perfect, right? Like past... And then, and then you can relate to, you can actually reflect back. It's like as if you're dreaming this uh, when you're dreaming, right? So I don't know how to totally describe it, but sometimes when you're editing, you get this kind of feeling that ah, this is this is perfect. This is what I want. This is the kind of image I want to give to myself and to my audience. All right? So there we go. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the um, and the way uh, uh, I edit, it's very fast. Um, Sometimes you don't need to spend too much time. In fact, the most important, and this is the key here, you take the picture that you want, you compose a shot, get the right setting, the lighting and everything, and then think about maybe later you want to edit it. And that's what I did. So using Microsoft uh, Photo Editor, which is free by the way, um, you can just edit your photo cropped in, maybe adjust the lighting, the clarity, the color, and so on, and maybe add a vignette to it, and then you're done, okay? And that's all you need. You don't want to do too much special effects, then it kind of ruins the uh, picture itself, because I think the original pictures, when you're trying to take uh, the photos uh, through your eyes, you had that feeling originally, so you want to keep that. And then maybe during editing, you want to zoom in on emphasize on that feeling more and and sometime by adding different color adding vignetting um, uh, de reducing the contrast or highlighting whatever effect you want just do a little bit of it and it might bring out more of that feeling all right thanks for watching educatetube.com